Good evening. I'm Audra Bove, Superintendent of MSAD 60. Thank you for joining us for the budget hearing this evening. Before we begin with the overview and head right into um, appointing a moderator, would you please stand so we can um, salute the flag? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. This evening, I'm joined by our central office administrators and representatives from our school board. This budget cycle was particularly challenging. We um, had a decrease in student enrollment and an increase in town valuations. And due to those reasons, we lost over $500,000 in state subsidy. That compiled with um, the increase in supplies and services really caused us um, some trouble as we were going through the budget. But we are ultimately presenting you something that we feel is not only fiscally responsible, but also provides the best teachers and staff learning environments and materials for all of our students. With a lot of work, we present a $45,237,883 budget. This is a 4% decrease over the fiscal year 2023 and represents an overall 5.31 to taxpayers. Before we nominate a moderator, I'd like to just point out one thing about um, voting when you go to the polls on June 13th, and that is when you see the district budget, you're not necessarily going to see that figure. What you're going to see is a yes in support or a not in support, and that's due to the fact that our um, documents are all provided by our lawyers, and they need certain timelines to get things done. So what happens tonight will be, that is going to be what you're voting on, but it's not necessarily going to say that on the ballot. Um, that happened last year and there was some concern around that, so I just wanted to clarify that. So right now, um, it's time to nominate a moderator. Nominate Jeff Day, moderator Okay. All, yeah. Do you have a second? Yeah. I second it. All in favor? Okay. Mr. Day. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are Great, you? Great, good. So I just need to um, have you do an oath. So um, do you, Jeffrey Day, swear that you will support the Constitution of the United States and the state of Maine, so long as you, you shall continue to be a citizen thereof, and that you will faithfully discharge, to the best of your abilities, the duties incumbent on you as moderator of the MSAT 60 budget meeting on May 25th, 2023, according to the Constitution and laws of the state of Maine. I do. Thank you. So I just need your signature. Oh, yeah. That's just, thank you. Good evening. Uh, just a few comments um, before we get going. Uh, for reference, I'll be using the main moderator's manual 2005 edition with a couple of modifications. Um, as a non -rep uh, resident, the superintendent. Uh, and the assistant superintendent will be allowed to speak. And um, you also have your uh, school administrators who you would like to speak, which uh, I will uh, allow as well. Thank you. Uh, general guidelines. Questions should be directed to, to me as the moderator. They should be related to the article currently being discussed as an example uh, we won't go back, you know, if we're on Article 3, we won't go back to Article Number 1 once, uh, once that uh, business has been completed. When you're asking a question, please state your name and the town you are from. There are microphones, uh, so if you could come to the microphone so that everybody can hear, it would be great. 
Uh, and in order to ensure everyone has an opportunity to ask their questions, uh, I'd ask that you not repeat a question and uh, that you allow others to um, speak as well before you ask multiple questions. Um, please don't interrupt those who are speaking and um, to minimize confusion, there'll be no amendments to the amendment. Uh, as an example, uh, we'll have an amend, if there's an, am an amendment, we'll have discussion, we'll close the discussion and vote on the article as amended. If it doesn't pass, a new amendment can be offered. If you feel there's been adequate discussion and answers provided, you may move the question, which would result in a vote. Residents uh, should have your voter cards and please use them when voting on article number 13, which will be a written ballot. I think if we keep these general guidelines in mind, I'm confident we'll have a productive evening. All right, uh, we'll, at this time we'll get into the uh, warrant articles. We'll begin uh, with the review and discussion and, and voting on each article. Uh, and uh, Audrey, do you have anything you want to add, start with? Or do you I, want to? I don't think so. I think just the reminder, like you said, about coming down to the microphones to speak. Okay. Thank you. All right. So, um, article number one to see what sum the district will be authorized to expend for reg regular instruction. The school board recommends $18,839,252. Do I hear a motion? I hear a, I hear a motion. Do I hear a second? second. And a second. Any discussion? All right, seeing none, I'll call for a vote. All in favor? Thank you, and opposed? All right, motion passes. Article number two. To see what sum the district will be authorized to expend for special education, school board recommends $7,621,183. Do I hear a motion? I hear a motion. Do I hear a second? Second down front. Any discussion? All right, seeing none, I'll call for a vote. All in favor? All right, thank you, and opposed. Motion passes. Article number three to see what sum the district will be authorized to expend for career and technical education. School board recommends $39,189. Do I hear a motion? School board recommendation. Uh, hear a motion, and do I hear a second? And a second, thank you. Discussion. Yes? If you come to the microphone, please. I have to find it again. There it is. Hi, my name is Robert Travers. I'm from the town of Lebanon. Um, so I just want to know, um, so last year we spent $39,793, and this year we're looking at 39189 So I guess my question is twofold. Number one, how many students are we sending to the Voc Tech School in Sanford? And two, how much does it cost per student? Audra, would you like to answer that? Sure. So we are currently sending 118 students to SRTC, and we just need to do the math on that per pupil. 
so the I believe SRTC students are funded directly through that school so their student count their subsidy goes that way this article in our 39,189 is proportionate to the number of students we send the amount for their um, physical plant and their capital assets. So for example, when they have an EMT course, all of the stretchers and equipment they need to run that class, they basically add up their programs, divide it by the students, and this is our share. Okay. So I guess that doesn't really answer my question, Bill, of our so, cost per pupil. Right. So if you're talking the total cost, again, the cost is borne by SRTC. Um, let me get you... Uh, 118, let me divide this. And while she's doing that, if we could just get the volume turned down just a little bit because we're getting some uh, feedback. The individuals on stage need to move the microphones closer to themselves when they speak, please. Thank you. Does that work? So that's $332.11 for those 118 students. Okay. Uh, I'd like to make an amendment to the motion to strike out the number 39,189 and insert the number 39,000. Do I hear a second for that amendment? I hear a second. All right. Any discussion on the amendment? All right. The, the amendment was, and, and keep me uh, honest over here, was to revise the amount from $39,189 to $39,000. Correct? Yeah. All right. At this time, I will call for a vote on the amendment. So we're just, vo we're just voting on the 39,000, going from 39,189 to 39,000. All in favor? All right, thank you. And opposed? All right, uh, the motion fails, or the amendment fails. All right, back to discussion on the 39,189, any additional questions? All right, seeing none, I'll call for a vote. All in favor uh, of, I'm gonna read it again just to make sure that everybody's clear. Um, we'll be voting in favor of the amount of $39,189, all in favor. All right, thank you, and opposed. Motion passes. Article number six. To see what sum the district will be authorized to expend for other instruction, the school board recommends $1,167,633. Do I hear a motion? That's article four. Oh, sorry. Thank you, article four. Thank you, sir. Move the school board recommendation. Thank you. Do I have a second? And a second down front. Any discussion? Yes? Good. Joyce Taper from North Berwick. Can you please explain what other instruction is? Thank you. Audra. Thank you. So other instruction includes um, athletics, the um, trainer, athletic trainer for um, athletics, summer school, including standards recovery, co-curricular and intramural, so any co-curricular activities, after school activities, um, and any kind of standards recovery that we're offering dur during the summer months as well. Any other questions? All right, seeing none, I'll call for a vote. All in favor?
Thank you. And opposed? Motion passes. Article number five. To see what sum the district will be authorized to expend for student and staff support. School board recommends $4,250,938. Do I hear a motion? I hear a motion. Do I hear a second? Second down front. Thank you. Any discussion? All right, seeing none, I'll call for a vote. All in favor, please. All right, thank you, and opposed. Thank you, motion passes. Article number six. To see what sum the district will be authorized to expend for system administration, school board recommends one million three hundred forty-six thousand seven hundred and twenty-two dollars. Do I hear a motion? I hear a motion. Do I see a, hear a second? Second down front. Thank you. Discussion. All right. Seeing none, I will call for a vote. All in favor, please. All right, thank you, and opposed. Thank you, the motion passes. Article number seven. To see what sum the district will be authorized to expend for school administration. Sorry, we did this one. <laughs> we just did this one, didn't we? No, you did this one. Oh, so, oh, sorry. Yes, thank you. All right. All right. See what sum the district will be authorized to expend for school administration. School board recommends $2,626,640. Do I hear a motion? Thank you. And do I hear a second? Second. Thank you. Discussion, please. Seeing none, I'll call for a vote. All in favor, please. Thank you, and opposed. Motion passes, thank you. Article number eight. To see what sum the district will be authorized to expend for transportation and buses, school board recommends $3,619,004. Do I hear a motion? Motion and a second, please. Second, thank you. Discussion, please. All right, seeing none, I'll call for a vote. All in favor? Thank you and opposed. Motion passes. Article number nine. To see what sum the district will be authorized to expend for facilities management. School board recommends $5,702,322. Do I hear a motion? And do I hear a second? And a second, thank you. Any discussion, please? All right, I will, seeing none, I will call for a vote. All in favor, please. And thank you, and opposed.
Thank you. The motion passes. Article 10. To see what sum the district will be authorized to expend for debt service and other commitments, school board recommends zero dollars. Try your motion. Move the school board recommendation. Thank you. A second. A second. Thank you. Any discussion, please? Yes. Susan Jackson, North Berwick. I'm just curious what this that means. It means all of our buildings are paid off. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, thank you. Any other questions? All right, I'll call for a vote. All in favor, please. Thank you, and opposed. All right, motion passes. Article 11, to see what sum the district will be authorized to expend for all other expenditures, the school board recommends $25,000. To our motion. Thank you, and here a second. Second, thank you. Any discussion, please? Could, could you come up to the microphone, please? <laughs> Any other questions, please? All right, seeing none, I'll call for a vote. Thank you. All in favor, please? All right, thank you, and opposed. All right, thank you, the motion passes. All right, article number 12. To see what sum the district will appropriate for the total cost of funding public education from kindergarten to grade 12, as described in the Essential Programs and Services Funding Act, and to see what sum a district will raise and assess as each municipality's contribution to the total cost of funding public education from kindergarten to grade 12, as described in the Essential Programs and Services Funding Act, in accordance with the main revised statutes, Title 20-A, Section 15688. The recommended amounts set forth below are, this is the total appropriated by municipality. Town of Berwick, $16,076,999. Town of Lebanon, $12,202,670. Town of North Berwick, $8,409,056. Total appropriated sum is $36,688,725. Total raised and district assessments by municipality. The town of Berwick, $6,140,000, uh, excuse me, 6,140,891 dollars. Town of Lebanon, $4,900,133 dollars. Town of North Berwick, $4,684,690. Total raised across the municipalities is $15,725,714. As an explanation, the district's contribution to the total cost of funding public education from kindergarten to grade 12, as described in the Essential Programs and Services Funding Act, is the amount of money determined by state law to be the minimum amount that the district must raise and assess in order to receive the full amount of state dollars. As an additional explanation, the non-state funded debt service is the amount of money needed for the annual payments on the district's long-term debt for major capital school construction projects that are not approved for state subsidy. The binding of this long-term debt was previously approved by the district voters. 
Do I hear a motion? I hear a motion. Thank you. And I need a second. Second. And a second. Thank you. Any discussion? All right. Seeing none, I'll call for a vote. All in favor, please. Thank you. And opposed. Thank you. The motion passes. All right. This uh, next vote, vote will be a written ballot, and we'll, uh, I'm going to read through this, and then uh, you will come to your uh, respective tables and uh, cast your votes. So Article 13, to see what sum the district will raise and appropriate in additional local funds, school board recommends $6,998,422, which exceeds the state's essential programs and services allocation model by a recommended amount of $6,998,422, as required to fund the budget recommended by the school board. The school board recommends $698,422, which exceeds the state's essential programs and services allocation model by $6,998,422. The school board gives the following reasons for exceeding the state's essential programs and services funding model. Some curriculum decisions that the board of directors has made and our communities have supported, such as full-time nurses and guidance counselors in each school, as well as reasonable class sizes. Fundamentally, however, the primary reason is that the EPS formula does not fully recognize all of the costs necessary to maintain school programs and services. Uh, as additional explanation, the additional local funds are those locally raised funds over and above the district's local contribution to the total cost of funding public education from kindergarten to grade 12, as described in the Essential Programs and Services Funding Act, and local amounts raised for the an annual payment on non-state funded debt service that will help achieve the district budget for educational programs. All right, uh, let's see. Um, so uh, we need a motion. Thank you, and a second. Thank you, I seconded. Any discussion, please? Yes. Could, could, could you come to the mic, please? Could you come to the mic, please? Thank you very much. Is this the reason why the increase, this is Beverly Gray. Thank you. Is this the in, reason for the increase in the budget to 8.9%? The increase to taxpayers in the budget is 5.31%, not 8. Well, that's what it said in the book. Okay, I know you said something about it in the, when you started it out. But how do we know as parents who will be counseling our children if things are not what you want and you don't know, you're not there? We'd like to know. We really would like to know. So is there a question specific to the... the Why the big amount of money? Do we have that many children that are not taken care of by their parents, that we need all this extra help? As far as school counselors? Counselors, academics, everything. So overall, we I can, are, We yeah. are down students, mm -hmm. so why do we need so much? We are down students, but we still need to provide school counseling and reasonable class sizes for all of our students. Mm -hmm. 
Are there any other questions? Yes, back here, please. Uh, good evening. Mark Roulard from North Berwick. Good evening. Uh, 62, 62 Oakwoods Oak Woods Road. Um, shouldn't the counseling be left up to the parents and not the school? School counselors work um, in many different ways. So, for example, they help support students that may be having some issues with um, starting work, class work, any students that are new to the school buildings. They help acclimate students to the new buildings. If there are like recess issues or things like that, they often help sort that out. They also help work um, just with overall how things are going in the school for each child. Are these counselors um, pushing transgender? These counselors are not pushing transgender, no. Thank you. Yeah. Any other questions? Yep, yes. Robert Travers again from Lebanon. I would like to make a motion that pens be distributed to the crowd instead of us lining up in front of the tables. So um, I, I'm, I'm not sure that that's a something that, that we would take a motion on, and I don't know whether we're in a position to do that. So um, any other questions? All right, seeing none, please uh, go to your individual tables and cast your vote. Okay, uh, the results of the, uh, the vote is uh, as follows. Berwick, 18, yes, zero, no. Uh, North Berwick, 17, yes, 19, no. And Lebanon, four no, sorry, nine yes and four no. 
So for a total of 44 yes and 23 no, so the, the uh, article passes. All right, article number 14. To see what sum the district will authorize the school board to expend for the fiscal year beginning July 1, 2023 and ending June 30, 2024 from the district's contribution to the total cost of funding public education from kindergarten to grade 12 as described in the Essential Programs and Services Funding Act. Local funds for non-state funded school construction debt services, additional local funds for school purposes under the main revised statutes, Title 20-A, Section 15690, unexpected balances, tuition receipts, state subsidy, and other receipts for the support of schools. School Board recommends $45,237,883. Do I hear a motion? The school board recommendation. A motion. Do I hear a second? And a second. Thank you. Discussion, please. Yes, please. I think this is my third time up here, so I'm not going to bother introducing myself this time. I'd like to propose an amendment to strike out the number. Forty-five million two hundred thirty-seven thousand eight hundred eighty-three, and insert the number thirty-six million six hundred eighty-eight thousand seven hundred twenty-five. Okay, could, uh, could you, before you go back, could you just repeat that last number again, please? Sure. So, the proposed number would be thirty-six million six hundred eighty-eight thousand seven hundred twenty-five. All right. Do I hear a second for that motion? Second. second back here, thank you. Discussion on the amendment? Yes, please. With the rising cost of energy and inflation, shouldn't we be cutting back? Um, instead of hiring people, shouldn't we be cutting back like Sanford? Thank you. Audra? In what regard for Sanford do you mean? Um, they cut back some librarians. They cut back some teachers. Sure. So we have reduced um, some of our staff. We've reduced eight um, classroom teachers. We've reduced three literacy um, coaches. We have reduced some um, clerical positions as well. Now, I understand that Wells is up a 3% increase in budget. South Burke is the same and so is in Sanford. Why are we much more than they are? We took um, bigger hits to our state subsidy than they did. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions on the amendment or discussion on the amendment? Yes. Uh, Jerry Basco, uh, Lebanon. Can you tell me what the, the number of reduction in students from last year to this year? Or 30, about 30. Across all schools? Correct. Okay. Thank you. Any other discussion on the amendment? Um, I would just like to say that the amount that is the recommended amendment is the cost that the state is willing to pay if the towns are willing to pay the minimum of the 15 million 725 714. If we do not raise that amount, the state does not give us all of the money in that other column. Thank you. Any, yes. Kelly Willard, North Berwick. Um, question on some of these staff cuts, and you were mentioning having social workers do some of this stuff like orientation. Is there administrative assistance or people that could be brought in like 
substitutes or moms during the day that would be paid at a lesser rate than social workers to do some of these services? This is a large increase. I think you will find that we have not increased our social work services or our school counselor services. Yeah, um, I work in education as well, and I mean, I see social workers handling a lot of things that other people could, that are paid at lower rates, rates that would save us a lot of money. Okay, I, I'm not seeing that at that. When, where we have our social workers at the high school, I'm not seeing that to be the case. Okay. So just quickly, in addition to that, so what about at all the elementary schools, how many social workers are within the we school have, system? We have um, a few social workers working with our special education population per their IEPs. Okay, thanks. All right, any other questions related to the amendment? Yes, please. Paul Rollins, North Berwick. Uh, am I mistaken? You said we lost 30 students? Correct. How much money did we lose from the state because of those 30 students? A few hundred thousand dollars. For 30 students? Yes. Is this realistic? Yes. Well, it's the valuation. Right? It's the combination of the valuation in the towns plus the decrease in student enrollment. So that was about $500,000. For 30 students? Correct. Something's wrong somewhere. Yes. Thank you. We don't disagree. <laughs> we don't disagree. Yeah. Any other questions? Any other discussion? Sorry. Oh. Just for, for clarification, it's not just the 30 students, it's the tremendous increase in evaluation of property in the three towns. Correct, correct? yes. Right. All right, seeing no additional questions or discussion, we'll be voting on the amendment first. And that amendment would be um, to uh, allocate thirty-six million six hundred and eighty-eight thousand seven hundred twenty-five. Correct. It would be the strike calculator number. That. Yes. Yes. And the the comment was it would be to strike out the forty-five million two hundred thirty-seven thousand eight hundred eighty-three uh, dollars and insert thirty-six million six hundred eighty-eight thousand seven hundred twenty-five dollars. All right, so we've had a motion and a second. Uh, I'll call for a vote. All in favor? All right, thank you, and opposed. All right, the, the motion fails. All right, um, now I'm going to uh, call for a vote on the uh, original article number 14 with the school board's recommendation of $45,237,883. All in favor, please. All right, thank you, and opposed. All right, thank you. The, the motion passes. All right, article number 15. To see if the district will raise and appropriate zero dollars for the school nutrition program with authorization to expend any additional incidental or miscellaneous receipts in the interest and for the well-being of the school nutrition program. Do I hear a motion? And do I hear a second? Thank you, second. Uh, any discussion, please? All right, seeing none, I'll call for a vote. All in favor? All 
All right, thank you. And opposed? Thank you. Motion passes. Article number 16, to see if the district will appropriate $295,592 for adult education and raise $90,265 as the local share with authorization to expend any additional incidental or miscellaneous receipts in the interest and for the well-being of the adult education program. Do I hear a motion, please? Thank you, and do I hear a second? Second. Second, thank you. Discussion, please. The point of order, we're discussing two different contracts, so these really should be split into two motions. Um, I'm going to, um, uh, uh, at this point, Denise. Yes, go ahead. Um, these are drafted by our attorneys and follow the appropriate wording for this particular article. I understand that. Again, since we're talking about two different monetary amounts, I feel that these should be two separate motions. At, uh, at this point, I'm just going to go with how this article has been presented. And um, Folks, uh, I mean, Audra, so maybe you can just take that under yep. advisement for next year yes. and consult with mm -hmm. the attorneys. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, so we have a um, motion and second. Do we have questions? Yes. Chaparral Lebanon. Um, perhaps maybe you can explain what the two numbers are, because if I'm correct, one is the total number which you're gonna, some of that's gonna come from the towns, some of that is also gonna come from the, from the state. And so you're telling us what the total number is, and then you're telling us the amount that you're gonna pull from the towns. Is that correct? That is, that correct. is correct. Thank you. Any other questions? All right, seeing none, I'll call for a vote. All in favor, please. All right, thank you, and opposed? Thank you, the motion passes. Article number 17. In addition to amounts approved in the preceding articles, shall the school board be authorized to expend such other sums as may be received from federal or state grants or programs or other sources during the fiscal year for school and other program purposes, provided that such grants, programs, or other sources do not require the expenditure of other funds not previously appropriated. Do I hear a motion? Thank you. And a second? Second. Thank you. Discussion, please. Okay, seeing none, I will call for a vote. All in favor, please. All right, thank you, and opposed. All right, thank you, the motion passes. All right, so that is uh, our, um, our, our the, that, that's our warrant articles. Um, right. And I think, I think that's a wrap. And is there uh, any other business that we need to conduct for this evening? I think just a reminder that on June 13th is the budget vote um, in your towns. So that's, that's the last reminder. All right, thank you. Thank you. Um, and uh, just the clerks, just checking with the clerks, you're all set? Yes, yes. I have, yes. I have papers that I will distribute to them. Okay, thank you. All right, uh, I need a motion to adjourn. <laughs> thank you, and do I see here a second? Second down here, all in favor? 
All right, anybody opposed? All right, thank you very much, folks. Appreciate you all coming. Thank you.